and we see the visitors, Farah, heading out onto the field. Now they are coached by Ethan Sherlock. Their captain is number eight, the front rower, Will Woods. And they'll, they'll be uh, looking to build on their 10 all draw in round two with All Saints Maitland. So that's how they look. They're obviously on the field waiting now. They have had one late change with uh, Nash Porter uh, ruling himself out. He's feeling a bit crook. So the player that was supposed to start on the bench in the number 14 jumper, Charlie Henderson, comes into the team at halfback. He is a halfback anyway, so it's just as well they've got back up in that position. Charlie Henderson there, number seven. Uh, and Knights... Uh, Harold Matt's uh, contributor. So look out for him. It means that Cooper Blimmon comes into the team in jumper number 14. And now we are just waiting on the home site to make their way out onto the field. As for this Farrah outfit, they went down pretty big in round one, it must be said, to Patrician Brothers. Fairfield, 64 points to nil. Um, but they bounce back superbly against All Saints Maitland. A 10-all draw, as I mentioned. Round three action in Pool C so far. We've seen uh, the Patrician Brothers Fairfield continue their incredible form, uh, taking care of All Saints Maitland, 42 points to six. That was last week. And now we see the home side making their way out onto the ground. We are not far away from kickoff. Just looking behind me as well, we are that all of a sudden this ground here at Holy Cross College is going to be packed with students, with home fans. It's about to get pretty chaotic here. Such a great venue for rugby league. Took a full bounce as well. What a start for the home side. That's unbelievable. I reckon it could have been Angus Gray. We're just going to have to try and check that. But it doesn't get much better than that. The first set of the game and Holy Cross are on the board. And Farah, they've got work to do, of course. Probably still a little bit conscious of what happened back in round one going down 64 points to nil to patrician brothers fairfield they probably traveled down to sydney today knowing it was going to be a tough ask against this formidable holy cross outfit 
as well, and that will not help their confidence. A massive first set, and the kick from Carter Proven took a wicked bounce. And we'll see more of the kicking game now from Proven. They're 5'8", doing goal kicking duties to kick things off. And he makes it six points to nil in no time at all. Just a couple of minutes gone so far in this ball game. The referee in the middle for the record with the whistle, Aidan Haywood, and the touch judges, Matt Gilvan and Kieran Casey. And so Farah, once again, they'll be kicking off and looking to make amends after a, a tough old start to this ball game. And the Farah captain, Logan Spinks, is the one with kickoff duties. There's big Kalani Masu charging back once again, but good drive in the tackle from the visitors. So a better start defensively for this set, it must be said. Now we'll probably see a few more Holy Cross players try and get their hands on the footy for an early touch. Jaden Jenkins, that's his second charge of the game though. And now they'll work it down this right hand edge again. There's Gabriel, he's so dangerous, but he just went without it. Now there's a chance going back the other way with Charlie Henderson. The speed of Michael Gabriel on, on display there. The Parramatta Herald Matt's representative. There's the captain. Logan Spinks I played a couple of games for the Bulldogs held Matt's team now Nate Follington was taken high so a great response from Farah down 6-0 can't imagine they'd be thinking anything other than the quick tap here centre field they go inside the red zone so a great chance for Farrah to hit back here. Henderson turns it back on the inside. It's slippery in that patch of grass. There's a good offload for Oliver Sykes. He takes a tackle about 12 out. They move it short side. Something on here as well. They're only a couple of metres out now. That was Will Milsom taking a charge there. Now they go back towards the middle. Henderson has it again. The fill-in halfback. There was a late change, Nash Porter out, Charlie Henderson into the team. And so far the Holy Cross defence has been up to the task. This is the last tackle. There is a bit of space out on the left, but there's been a knock on in the play of the ball. So a tough pill to swallow there. It was Jordan Hamlin, the number six. And the Holy Cross defence holds on. So probably a confidence booster for them. They did concede 24 points in round one against All Saints Maitland. They had to come from behind. Of course, they were missing a couple of key contributors in that game, which they've got back in the fold this week, including Keenan Lewendos, their captain. Second row forward. There's an offload from Gabriel. He's already shown plenty of attacking potency in this game. That's Angus Gray, I think. And now a settler there for Andrew Masillo. Good defence. Slowed that, play the ball down. There's Jenkins again. He's been busy early. Balls come out the back. And referee Aidan Haywood has found an indiscretion. So there's another turnover, another opportunity for Farah. Ball in hand inside opposition territory. Clear conditions today here at Holy Cross College Ride. There is a bit of breeze, not as much as there was back in round one when Holy Cross hosted All Saints Maitland. But it is still a little bit breezy up here. No excuses, though. <laughs> There's a good run from the back of the scrum from Archie Wainwright. 
And now a pretty simple carry, but he beats a couple of tackles, Will uh, Milsom. He's only five metres out. There's their captain, Will Woods. Just asking more questions. There's Wainwright at dummy half. Goes left. Through hands they go. Spinks. That pass went out the back. It's going to be cleaned up there by Will Kelly. And he's pounced on. There's Spinks once again. That's a good run. Got some speed up. Here's the last tackle. Wainwright goes to Henderson. There's a bit of space out wide. Just can't quite move it there effectively and the other wing is going to have to clean up now he rolls one in behind and it's there was just too much weight on it so once again that holy cross defense holds up nicely well since that first set where holy cross ride scored the only try in this game so far farah have had more of the possession since then and good opportunities. There's a big first carry for JK Raunge. Nearing halfway they go. And right on there right now. Centre of the field here at Holy Cross College. There's a good little short ball, good ball playing there from Malachi Lati Levu. Lassie Levu is the halfback in this team. Gets his hands on the ball there again at first receiver. As they work it left to right, Gabriel gives early ball this time. He wanted the offload there from Rory Davison. Defence wrapped up. Through hands they go, Proven. He got the ball to Andrew Masillo. Options left and right here. Proven's going to retrieve it. There's a flat ball for Gabriel, but just slightly not quite timed. And out over the sideline it travels. Certainly been a lot of intention to get right centre Michael Gabriel involved early in this game. The Parramatta held Matt's representative. Most of these Holy Cross players are year 12, but a lot of them are sort of on the younger side, still playing Harold Matz as opposed to SG Ball. Cooper Wheelhouse, their hooker, is the only SG Ball rep in the Holy Cross lineup as Farrah work their way back towards halfway. The team from Tamworth, centre of the park. Nate Follington takes a run to get them over halfway. There's the captain, Will Woods. And now they, they are going to kick. So Hamlin puts it on the boot. Gives this one, gives this one some height. And Cameron Kanan's going to retrieve. He beats a tackle too. There goes Kanan down the right sideline. He might back himself here. He does. He's over halfway. And he's finally pulled down by his opposite number, Jordan Willock. Quick play the ball for Gabriel to look out. Bodies get to Gabriel. He's tackled. Good meterage, good post contact as well. There's the captain, Lewendos. They're only about 15 metres out from that Farrell line now. Lewendos eventually swung down the captain. Through hands they go. They look dangerous down this left edge. Getting close and over is Jonah Watson. There's the second try for Holy Cross College. And it's 10 points to nil. Kick two come. They looked so dangerous. What a kick return it was to kick off that set from their fullback, Cameron Kanan. And all their big names were involved after that. Michael Gabriel, the hooker. Keenan Lewendos, their captain. And Jonah Watson finished the job. So 10 nil kick to come. Proven will look to add the extras. They're 5-8. They 
they certainly look expansive ball in hand they have come up with a few early errors but when the passes stick look out malachi lassie levu looking composed as well at first receiver their number seven so proven here doesn't soak up too much time got good strike on it but he's pulled it to the left so the score will stay at 10 points to nil we've had about 15 minutes in this game and the crowd they are flowing in the students from holy cross college here they've all just risen to their feet as well on the hill good atmosphere as spinks gets us back underway once again that's a good run but boom there's a big hit there it could have been high contact or even a shoulder charge involved though on masu and they're gonna earn a penalty for their troubles he was rocked bit of feeling out there now jenkins wants the footy this is going to be an interesting little hit up here jenkins has done pretty well got his nose out the other side up to the 40. quick play the ball helps as well now the students in the crowd they find their voice proven turns it back on the inside for gabriel he beat one tackle working at short side here oh good hit a couple of the farrah forwards involved there through hands they go laddie levu got it to kanan their full back and they're thinking of working it down that short side there he is again laddie levu putting one through this time jordan willock was in a good position to retrieve And a nice and simple run here for Logan Spinks. He's been heavily involved so far, as you'd expect. And now coming in off the wing, for, looking for work is Noah Hawley. That was a good little run. There's their skipper, Will Woods. He's a big body. Nearly up to that 40. Options both sides here. And they'll go to Henderson, who had to kick it flat-footed, just kind of off guard, but he did find grass. Raunga is back there now, tries to wind up. It was a short run-up, but he did pretty well. Some good post-contact meterage there from the left winger, and just too slow in the play the ball there. So Holy Cross with a relieving penalty. And the home fans enjoyed that. And a bit of back chat as well to referee Aiden Hayward's going to march them further forward. They're not even worried about kicking for touch. They're just going to take the tap. There was a slip there involved as well. A bit messy, the play on. There's Jenkins with another charge. I've counted five hit-ups for him already in this game. He's been super busy. Proven sends one on Gabriel on an angle. And the fend just loses his footing. Got in behind. There's the danger. Michael Gabriel. And now Jenkins again. This time he's going to play it on. And there's a good offload involved for Laddie Latu. He's going to get the ball out. And in the corner, Jonah Watson has himself a first half double. 14 points to nil kick to come. And they're just warming up here, the home side. They've got dangers 
on both edges. The centres, they've been standouts so far. Jonah Watson with the finishing capabilities. And Michael Gabriel kind of setting things up, putting the Farrah defence on the back foot on the other side of the park. So a memorable, memorable day for Watson so far in this game. And now Proven, who missed one from a similar spot about five minutes ago, has a chance to correct course. I did mention there is a bit of a breeze playing Havoc a little bit here. But let's see if he can make the necessary adjustments. Gets good strike on it once again, and he has. He has 16 points to nil. Holy Cross College over Farrah. Nearing the 20 minute mark in this ball game. Farrah, they're going to take their time bringing the ball back to the middle to restart here. Once again, it will be one of the edge back rowers, Logan Spinks, with kickoff duties. He's their goal kicker as well if they get that opportunity. And now the home students, the fans finding their voice once again. There's a bit of commotion on the hill. There's Lewendos. There's a good carry and an offload. And there's a bit of space in and around that ruck as well. Another charge there for Andrew Massillo. And they work it left. Laddie Levu through hands. There's a cutout. Good hit on Jonah Watson. Defence holding up there. Laddie Levu got it onto Proven, who sends up a pretty sketchy kick. Well done to retrieve it back there was young Will Kelly. Right on their own line, though, Farrah. Still inside that 10, and that's a slow play, the ball. It's a smart little run out of dummy half from Archie Wainwright. And now they've earned that penalty. You could argue the tackle before led to that somewhat as well in the mind of referee Aidan Haywood. And that will help. So Charlie Henderson's the one with the ball and yeah, there's just so much winds down there at ground level. Neither side are all that keen on kicking for touch, so they'll play the quick tap. Wainwright goes short side. Henderson turns it back in for Jack Hatton, who got the offload away. Now they work it through hands. Holy Cross were up to it defensively. There's a, a good carry. I think that's Sebastian Sykes out there. Middle of the field. Wainwright sees something in behind that he doesn't mind. And the ball has stayed in for now. Kanan's there. He was aware of where the sideline was. And look at this for a kick return as well. He's a gun. He's a gun. Look at him go. He's beaten four tacklers. Up over the 30. He tried to, <laughs> tried to milk that one at the end of it. Play on. Gabriel got the offload away. And it's Kanan with it once again. So a slow play the ball now, but there's a good carry from Angus Gray.
Proven wants it. Lewendos was going to try and chase through the kick there, captain. But now there's going to be an offside ruling. A couple of Farrah players got their hands on it. And Jackson Hatton, the left centre for them, was just not in a position to be touching the ball. So now Cooper Wilhouse is going to get things started once again. And it's Zane Watson out there in jumper number 16. They work at left. Lassie Levu. Oh, look at the short ball. Gray was just pulled down. Laddie Levu gets it back. Malachi goes right through. And you saw the ball playing and the support on display there from their number seven. Malachi Lassie Levu. That was pristine. 20 points to nil kick to come. And they're having a bit of fun here on the school grounds. Took them a little bit of time to, I mean, they did score in that first set, but there was a bit of a, an attacking lull for the home side after that. But in the last 10 minutes, they have been lights out. And the work of fullback Cameron Kanan has put this team each set on the front foot. So Carter Proven, he's two from three and he's got an easy assignment here to send that scoreline out to 22 points to nil. They look good, the home side. 25 minutes gone, first half. And Farrah, they certainly have their work cut out for them. It's very likely there's a few future NRL players on the field out there. As Spinks gets us going once again. Lashi Levu, the try scorer, they work it straight away through hands. And there's a big charge coming back. Jai Robertson, who's involved with the Rabbitohs, how Matt's set up. As Proven turns one back inside for his captain, Lewendos. And a good quick play the ball from him too. Even their middle forwards are getting involved in the, the ball playing here. A lot of attacking versatility as now that dummy half Cooper wheelhouse takes a run up over halfway Lati Levu gets it again through hands they go Lewendos bumps off one and got the flick out the back they're away down this right edge Gabriel gets it on for Rory Davison there's a try light that was a cool piece of play there and it's 26 nil, so they go back to back. And Holy Cross College, they are on. And they're sharing the love around as well. Rory Davison picks up a try, and that's the first score down this right-hand side. A lot of the points have come at, uh, on the other side of the park. But you see the, the potency of that right edge in involving their captain, Keenan Lewendos, the right edge forward. Got an unbelievable flick on. And then Michael Gabriel down that right edge made sure that Rory Davison could finish the job. So 26 points to nil. Kick to come. Carter Proven, three from four so far. Displaying great control. 
in the halves for Holy Cross so far, Proven. And he smashes that one through as well. So he extends that scoreline to 28 points to nil. Holy Cross College ride over Farrah Memorial Agricultural High School. There have been some good NRL players to come out of Farrah over the years. None current, but Alan Tung, Tom Leroy Lars, Richard Swain, Peter Taylor. Holy Cross, they've obviously got plenty of NRL representation currently as well. Mitch Moses, Luke Brooks, Alex Safeth, Essan Masters, Junior Totola, Bailey Sirenen. And you get the feeling there's a few more out there right now in terms of future prospects. They work it down this right edge. There's Angus Gray. He's been reliable for them on that left edge as well. Midfield they go. There's Jai Robertson. And there's a bit of shape to this play as well as they work it through. Hands out wide to Gabriel. Links up with Davison. He has room sh uh, down this right edge as well. Davison, he scored a try a minute ago. Got the offload away. And Kanan in the corner just couldn't quite plant it down. Dealing with the sideline as well. Farrah did well in cover defence there. A little bit of a problem in the middle for Oliver Sykes. He might have to go and get that properly assessed. So a let off there for Farrah. But they do lose one of their front rowers momentarily at least. So there's a carry from Will Milsom. Trying to work it out of their own red zone. <laughs> Coming in for a carry and bracing for contact was Noah Hooley. And they continue down this right edge. Breaking one tackle was Sebastian Sykes. And now they win a penalty, so that'll help. A good run from young Sebastian there. Who's on the field, off the bench. And up to halfway. So once again, it's Will Milsom looking for more work. Through hands they go. Henderson out the back for the fullback Willock, but just couldn't quite hang on there. Unfortunately, in the end, Jack Hatton puts it down. And the Holy Cross boys, they're using it as a bit of an energy lift as well. So proven to feed this scrum. In fact, that could be half time. I think it is. That would be about right. So there we go. The first half is in the books here at Holy Cross College Ride. And it's the home side on campus in control here. 28 points to nil. Holy Cross over Farrah. Second half, Peter Mulholland Cup action here. Just about ready to go from Holy Cross College Ride. The home side who will be kicking off here. They lead 28 points to nil over Farrah Memorial Agricultural High School. And they've shown so much in that first half as well the trailing outfit they have first use of the ball here in this second 40 there's some 17 on 17 action sebastian sykes with a good carry 
up to the 30. They continue to work the ball left here. Phil Pryor with you on the call. And there's a little knock on there. So a perfect start for the home side, Holy Cross. They scored in the opening set of the match. Can they score with their opening attacking set in the second half as well? We'll find out. Based on trends of what happened in that first period of the game, they're going to give themselves a good chance here and they're lined up with something brewing here. Lashi Levu gets it on. There's an offload involved there as well. Just overrunning it slightly was Kanan and they, they found a little knock on in, in there. Aiden Haywood, the ref. Cameron will plead that he didn't get hands on it, but it will be a knock on. So a let off there for Farah, no doubt. They'll be the ones to feed in this scrum. It's going to be Jordan Willock. He's the one with the ball in his hands right now, the fullback. I wonder what they've got up their sleeve. As they work it down this right hand side. Showing, showing a little bit there is Willock. That's a good run. Nate Follington. They're up over halfway now into opposition territory, turning it back inside for Will Milson there. And he's driven backwards at the end of it. Crowd didn't mind that. The home students here through hands they go. Henderson now out the back for Willock, who turns it back in field, sees some space as well. There he goes. And the cover defence from Lewendos was questionably high, it must be said. Wainwright out of dummy half. There's a good ball. Close to the line. They're only a metre short. Trying to wrap up Max Smith. Fifth and last here. They've shown plenty. Can they put themselves on the board here, Farah? Surely. Henderson goes back inside. Has to get the offload away. It hits the grass, but it's play on for Follington. He's going to be wrapped up, unfortunately. So they can't find their way onto the score sheet there. Still yet to open their account, the visitors. That's... Definitely their best chance of the match so far. Good signs, though, early on in this second half. And good defence to follow up. Driving back Angus Gray there. So try and work their way out of danger. Jai Robertson, there's a good carry. 10 plus metres of tough yardage. Zane Watson now with a charge. So their bench forwards getting involved. Proven gets it on to Gabriel. Every time he gets the footy, he looks like breaking tackles and breaking lines. And now an early kick across field. It will find grass right in front of Noah Hawley. So good field position here to work from for Farah. And it's a good run to Malachi Lashi Levu found himself potentially in an offside position. That's why he didn't make the tackle. Now they work it short side through hands. It was just a little bit dysfunctional there for Jordan Willock in the end, getting the short ball from Jordan Hamlin. So a disappointing finish to that set. And a chance for Holy Cross College to get their breath and composure back. And try and play this game from the other half. That breeze is working. Sort of right across halfway. It's not really favouring either team. Thankfully. Lewendos, that's a good run from him, the skipper. Right edge forward for Holy Cross. And 
Andrew Nasillo. He was hit well. So Lassie Leibu wants it, goes through hands, gets it again with the run around. Old school style, Lassie Leibu breaking tackles as well. He'll play it. Gray once again. He's definitely stood out today. Now they'll work it right. Proven tried to get a short ball away for Kanan and it's going back the other way. Follington comes away with it. There's a bit of collateral damage there involving Cooper Wheelhouse, who missed round one. He's back in the team today, the dummy half, the Balmain SG ball representative. Just a potentially a bit of an accidental head clash at the end of that. It looks like he'll be right to continue, maybe... Just a little bit of red stuff coming from the nose. He might have to go and be assessed, to be honest. And it does look like that is the case. Nick McMahon appears to be getting ready to inject himself into the ball game. And that does eventuate. Let's hope Cooper Wheelhouse is okay. Just try and stem the flow of bleeding and potentially get him back out there. McMahon bumped off for his first moment in this game. Back on the inside, just running straight into Zane Watson defensively there, but there's a penalty at the end of it. So that'll help, help Farah get themselves out of their own half. And they'll take the tap 10 metres forward. So Henderson, he stopped, tried to catch the defenders off guard there. Young Charlie Henderson played a couple of Howard Matt's games for the Knights. The halfback who came in for Nash Porter out sick today for Farrah. They work it down this right hand edge with Max Smith who went very close to scoring a few minutes ago. Open side they go. A show and a go from Jordan Hamlin. Inside that opposition 10. But a slow play of the ball. Wainwright goes left. Henderson now, there's a good short ball for Sykes. He's a couple of metres short. Wainwright again, now he rolls one in behind. It's well weighted as well. And it will be taken dead back there by Kanan there, full back. So he was in a good position. But here's the first repeat set of the match, I believe. And Farrow just building some pressure here, undoubtedly. There's been no addition to the halftime scoreline of 28 points to nil. And Farrow have looked like the team more likely as Henderson works it down left side for Jack Hatton. Now they come back in field. Beating tackles as Henderson. Got it on to Hatton once again. Now Kelly works his way in field and runs into a dead end. There's a big run from their captain, Will Woods, looking for the line. He was wrapped up by his opposite number. Out the back. So Henderson rolls one in behind. His opposite number is all over it. There's a bit of work in the play the ball there. Jordan Hamlin, the 5'8 for Farrah, didn't like it. Bit of a disagreement there. Play on, boys. Zane Watson with another carry. He's been busy since coming onto the field midway through that first half. And now it's with Gabriel. Well, this time he lost his footing. That's about the only way to stop him. And they continue to work short side. Proven through hands. Lewendos got the offload away. Davison down that right edge. He's broken a couple of tackles as well up to the opposition 40. A well-worked play down that right 
Hand side. Now through hands they go. There's space out to the left as well. Lati Levu puts the kick in behind. That took a wicked bounce. But Jonah Watson, who was chasing a hat trick, couldn't get the bounce himself. And that looks so dangerous, though. The Farrah fullback and wingers, Jordan Willock, Willock, the fullback, he has copped some nasty bounces back there in this game. No harm done. Scoreboard wise, though, on this occasion, as Farrah try to work their way out of their own territory. There's Will Woods once again. And a good play here. That's Oliver Sykes. Continue to work at left. Henderson back on the inside. There's the other Sykes with a good short ball for Willock. He's shown us quite a bit, the fullback for Farrah in the early goings of this second half. Hamlin now, there's a good carry. So members of the spine putting their hand up for tough carries. Henderson got it on for Sykes, working it down the left. And there was a bit of room out wide for Will Kelly, but the space closed pretty quickly. The cover defense was good from Holy Cross. So once again, we've had no score in this second half. Time is starting to wind down as well. There were periods in that first half where you thought this scoreline could end up being anything the way that Holy Cross were playing, but Farah, to their credit, they really fought back in this game. JK Raunge with a carry there. Lati Levu back inside. Forced backwards goes Andrew Masillo. Lati Levu has it again, gives it on for Kanan this time. And he was wrapped up. So the halfback getting it at first receiver once again. This time got it on for Zane Watson. Now it's proven, it's been charged down. Here's a chance for Farah, just kicked ahead by Logan Spinks and there was too much juice on it. A good moment there from the visitors and one of their better opportunities in this game. Once again, it amounts to nothing. But their second half must be pleasing coach Ethan Sherlock so far. In fact, so it's ruled to have come off a holy cross foot, not the foot of Sp uh, Logan Spinks. So Farrow with another opportunity. And there's more meters for Will Woods. Follington, he's been good. One of the other Farrow middle forwards as well. Turning it. Back inside now for Hayden Mitchell. Got a good offload away as well. Wainwright just trying to jump over bodies. So once again, midfield through hands. They go Henderson with the tip on. And they've got numbers out wide. If they can work it, they do. There's a corner score for Jack Hatton. And Farah are on the board in this game. 28 points to four, kick to come. They've been building pressure in this second half and they get some reward on the end of it. So left centre, Jack Hatton is the one that goes in. And certainly some reward for effort there. As we sort of make our way through to the midpoint in this second half. Holy Cross, obviously, yet to trouble the scorers since that main break. They have had a couple of chances. 
but it has been mostly Farah since half time. And Jack Hatton, he's built a nice combination down that left edge with his halfback, Charlie Henderson. And we shouldn't ignore the, the work back on the inside from Charlie Henderson. That was quite a tip on. So Logan Spinks tries to convert, but it's out across the face. So no addition. 28 points to four in this game. Our first second half score here at Holy Cross College Ride. Peter Mull Holland Cup Pool C round three action concluding a big week of schoolboy rugby league. So Proven gets us back underway. And once again, here comes Farrah, here comes Will Woods charging forward. It's easy to see why he's selected as captain of this team. And now Farrah, they're playing with some energy and intention here. Oliver Sykes will play it here. Back inside, Will Woods puts his hand up once again, the captain. Trying to climb forward to halfway. Wainwright engages the marker and gets the ball on. Oliver Sykes with a really good run. So Henderson now goes to Hamlin and they move it further wide and there's a bit of room down this right hand edge as well. Hooley lost his footing. Oh, met an eaten up Coburn battle down underneath it and referee Aiden Haywood's blown his whistle I think that was the end of that set great defensive work Jonah Watson was involved the left centre for Holy Cross has two tries in this game and there's a nice defensive moment for him as well So there's Gabriel Bourge. Michael Gabriel hitting a really solid tackle. Farrah, they have turned up in this second half so far. There's no two ways about that as Masu takes it forward. And it looks like there are going to be more changes here. Masillo's heading off and it looks like there's a problem for... Farrah's number 10, Oliver Sykes. Clutching at his head there just above the left eye. So let's hope he's okay. Have been a few forced changes in, in the last 10 or 15 minutes. The other one is Cooper Wheelhouse, the dummy half for Holy Cross College ride. That's why Nick McMahon is dummy half, the number 14 there. About to scoop up that play the ball. He, Sends it left to Lati Levu, and that was an incredible short ball. It just popped out at the end, but there was a stripping motion involved. It was grey on the end of that pass. There has been a little bit of feeling out there. Jordan Hamlin's the one underneath it. 5-8 for Farah. It was 28 points to Lint to nil in favour of Holy Cross College at half time and you have to tip your cap to Farah since then they lead this second half four points to nil and now referee Aiden Haywood has called in Jonah Watson I'm just trying to lip read. <laughs> so I think probably a warning just for the reaction at the end of it. Holy Cross still have the penalty though. And Lati Levu tipped it on for Masu. 20 metres out inside that Farah red zone now. The home fans are hungry for points. 
Looks like Cooper Wheelhouse is back out there. The starting dummy half for Holy Cross. His understudy is also still in the game, McMahon. As they work it through hands, Kanan, look out. Kanan, he puts it down. In that right-hand corner, so Holy Cross, they have second half points. The fullback is in. And so they extend their lead. 32 points to four, kick to come. Four points apiece so far in this second half. Cameron Kanan, he's been one of their best for Holy Cross College, the fullback. And now he finds himself in that highlights package as well for this game. The Harold Matz Balmain representative, Cameron Kanan. He's been impressive. So Carter Proven, he's been the one with kicking duties. And in that first half, he was four from five off the tee. This is arguably his toughest ask so far today, but he has been striking them well off the tee. So we'll see how he goes here. 32 points to four currently. He's got the legs on it, but he sliced it just to the right-hand side. So the score will stay 32-4. Both sides with four second half points in this game so far at Holy Cross College. Ride for round three. Pool C, Peter Mile Holland Cup action. Holy Cross picked up a win in round one over All Saints Maitland. 38-24. A couple of big inclusions from that game here. Oh, they've put one down off the kickoff. Can you believe They haven't been afraid to work the ball through hands at any point in this game, regardless of whereabouts on the field they are. But this gives Farah a chance to hit straight back. I mentioned once or twice in that first half, Holy Cross coach Tim White, he's been at home sick with appendicitis all week. So the caretaker coach is James Shepherd sure he would have been happy with what he saw in that first half. Things have certainly leveled out in this second half so far. Logan Spinks playing it there 10 metres out. The defence rushes up there. There's now Farrah work it towards the sticks. Will Woods gets the offload away. And there's good drive back there. I think that was Cooper Blimmon into the game now in the number 14 jumper. So they work it through hands. Henderson gets it on for Logan Spinks and there's a little offload at the end of it but it does hit grass so Holy Cross won't have any troubles defending that raid. Jordan Willock lost his footing. So they work it back towards that try line. Fifth and last here. So just Doing a few circles there was Cooper Blim, and it looks like he's going to be wrapped up as well. So just not getting the last tackle option they would have been hoping for there, Farah. So they won't add to their four points in this game so far. So how much dare will Holy Cross go with here after that error last set coming out of their own end we'll wait and see Jenkins is back out there he had a really busy opening 25 minutes coming left for Lati Lavu oh that's a good ball for Kanan and Malachi Lati Lavu he wants it at first receiver again here Tipping it on there for Jai Robertson. The Rabbitohs, Harold Matt's rep. And now Proven puts up a high one. 
you know, there was a, a small op window of opportunity for Rory Davison, the right winger, to come through and be there at the fall of the ball, but not to be. So not a lot of uh, territory on the kick there from Proven, and it will be Farrah ball here. 30 odd metres out from their own line. And there's a bit of an error there at the end of that. He's not happy about it either. Will Milson really firing up. He was not happy with the decision there. So a chance now for Holy Cross. They led by 28 points at half time. It's a 28 point margin right now. Can they further extend that? 32 points to four. Holy Cross, they scored 38 points in round one against All Saints Maitland. And I'm sure coming into their game here today, they would have been hoping to work their way into the 40s or the 50s. John Paul Cortell works it back in field. And pretty much everyone in this game now has had a crack as Canaan tried to work it down that right-hand edge, but the pass for Rory Davison was just too high. So Farah once again come away unscathed. Bit of a problem at the play the ball though. Logan Spinks off the right foot. Good meterage there. Driven backwards. Good defensive work from Jaden Jenkins in number 13 for Holy Cross. Will Woods putting his hand up for more work. Unbelievable work rate from the skipper today in the middle of the park. Once again, good defensive drive from Holy Cross as Farrah try to work their way out of their own half. Still slippery conditions out there, obviously, with all that rain. Cooper Blimmen wrapped up. Still Farrah's side of halfway. And now they have to get one on the boot. Bit of hang time to this one. Canaan was up to it. And now he wants to figure something out on this left edge. Rungay is there. Kanan still has it. And he's away. Cameron Kanan has options inside if he wants. He doesn't need them. He's lost his footing at the end of it, though. And gone into touch. Cameron Kanan, what a run that was. And he has a try in this second half already, but just couldn't quite put the finishing touches on it. He did have JK... Rungay working his way back in field, but he probably committed, hadn't he, for the corner. And once again, Farah, a chance to get their breath back. Still four points all in that second half, in this second half. That's what's keeping us interested at this stage. Holy Cross obviously well and truly in front. But it has been an intriguing battle since half time. Cameron Canine just a little bit ginger getting back to his feet after that run down the left edge. Looks like he'll be fine though. Once again, strong defensive work in the middle of the park there from Jenkins. Henderson moving it out wide and there's a bit of room now for Will Kelly out on the left wing. Not a lot of size to him but he's been playing above his weight here today and doing all right. So Henderson for Follington this time. So he's back in this ball game now. Has not shied away from tough carries today.
So Henderson just trying to control things, the halfback. There's a carry now for Will Milsom. He's certainly fired up. And a bit of a disorganised end to that set as well, but the kick at least found grass downfield. And bringing it back was Rory Davison. Here's J.K. Roonge bumping off tacklers. Almost back to halfway goes J.K. Down this left short side, there's room. He already has two tries. Jonah Watson puts it on the foot. How's this bounce looking? Canaan's after it, and he just ran out of real estate at the end there. That was exciting play, though. A good passage. And Farrah, they're looking to work it quickly with Spinks here. There's a quick tap and there's space down this left edge as well. They're wasting no time. Will Kelly with a clean line break. How much pace does the little fella have? He got the ball back in field for Spinks, who works it on. There's still support coming. Farrah from one end to the other. Jack Hatton has a double. And what a try that was. That was unreal from the 20 tap. Great stuff there. Unbelievable action. Peter Marholland's cup, it doesn't get much better than that. 32 points to eight, kick to come now. And there's a bit of cramping under the posts as well. That was great. So Jack Hatton picks himself up a second half double. And for those playing at home, Farah, they lead this second half. It was 28 points to nil, Holy Cross over them at half time, and it's eight points to four, kick to come as far as second half scoring goes. So just trying to identify the player dealing with cramping there. It may well be the try scorer, Jack Hatton, getting both calves relieved under the black dot there. It'll be Logan Spinks, their second rower, looking to convert this latest four-pointer. Really struggling under the sticks. At the very least, giving that Holy Cross outfit plenty of time to get their breath back after a defensive chase. It is the number three, so for the record, Jack Hatton is the one that's stayed down, the try scorer, the dual try scorer in this second half. Cramping doesn't get a lot worse than that, to be honest. Finally, he's back to his feet. Have to wonder how many, how much fluid is left in that calf. In fact, I mean, maybe it's worse than cramping the way he's walking back to the sideline. That's, that's pretty gnarly. Spinks converts. So 32 points to 10 and... There goes the whistle. So that concludes proceedings here for Pool C round three action at Holy Cross College. And a really solid response in that second half from Farah. Holy Cross still get the job done in the end. They take the win here in this ball game. 32 points to 10. Positives for both teams to take away so Farah, after that round one heavy defeat to Patrician Brothers Fairfield, they've certainly shown plenty since then. It was a, a 10 all draw in rounds two with All Saints Maitland and they've, the way that they fought till the end there here today at Holy Cross College was certainly admirable. And we're looking forward to the Pool C heavyweights doing battle next, uh, in a couple of weeks time, sorry, Holy Cross College. and. 
Patrician Brothers Fairfield. Certainly looking forward to that. Still plenty for the home side, Holy Cross College, to hang their hat on after this game. And now the players will thank the home students. They got the job done in the end, 32 points to 10. Two tries for centres from either team, Jonah Watson, the home side, and Jack Hatton, the visitors. And they're happy. 32 point to 10 winners to conclude Pool C round three action from Holy Cross College Ride. Thanks everyone for tuning in.